intensive hydration gel. That sweet golden blush. I'm taking a break from my contact lenses and going uh going uh Superman here, uh, Clark Kent with my sun with my glasses. Um, I'm having a bit of a melodrama with my contact lens uh, order, so I ordered. I, 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 this week has just been. Uh, <laughs> So far, this week has been failure on online ordering. First, I had the J.C. Pen Penny disaster, um, which I just I just put those mini blinds in my closet because I can't even think about them right now. It just evokes anger. Um, and then <clears throat> the second the second online ordering fiasco, which is actually more problematic, is I ordered my contact lenses from Coastal.com. Um, and they were supposed to come, like, they shipped like a month ago, okay? So I went back to the, the tracking order, because, you know, they send you the, your item is shipped thing, and then I just kind of forgot about it, and I was like, wait a minute, why have my contact lenses not come? Well, it looks like it came to, came to Houston, went to the wrong post office, went to a different post office, and now it looks like they've sent it back to... Washington State? I'm so annoyed by this because I literally have no contacts left. I just have four of the, um, if you remember back when I went and had my eye exam, the um, optometrist was nice enough to give me um, some of the uh, dailies. So I've got four pairs of the dailies uh, to get me through. So I'm just gonna stick to the glasses. And I'm on the dust, and I, um, I've also got a lecture that I'm giving the residents tomorrow really early in the morning, so I've got to work on that today. And I have, uh, I have to do some, a little bit of writing on a grant that I had submitted back in fall. Um, a little bit of a, um, I need to get back to the uh, administrator on something with that. And then I also have to get ready for my trip because I'm going to um, Austin this week to present at that meeting. So that'll be fun to take you guys along on that. And so, but right now I'm gonna eat. Um, and I just whipped up a batch of, of course, cauliflower oats. But let me show you, uh, today I'm completely out of that awesome nut butter. Um, but today I've got a, a slightly different jazzy topping that I'll show you. So I ran out of that awesome nut butter, but today I've got some banana slices, um, some chopped up almonds, and then of course um, a little bit of that Truvia brown sugar mix stuff. And I call it the uh, 30 second microwave magic moment what, with the toppings on my cauliflower oats. I, I put the toppings on and I do that with the Truvia brown sugar and then I just nuke it in my microwave for 30 seconds and it gets kind of like caramely or whatever. I'm sure this is basically an advanced glycation end product that's gonna destroy my collagen matrix but living on the edge <laughs> but um yeah so far so good with the um the event um retro hey guys so it is one o'clock and i got a lot of work done but before i update you i just saw the most bizarre thing i'm in my parking garage um about to head out to run an errand and the guy parked next to me, it's a Mercedes. He's getting out of his car as I'm walking towards my car and getting some things out of his trunk. And he's dressed, you know, as a business professional. It's, it's one o'clock on a Tuesday, guys. And he goes into the trunk of the car, pulls out a Costco-sized bottle of vodka, and just starts drinking straight out of it. I mean, like, copious amounts. I don't know what to do. I mean, he... It's kind of alarming, right? I just find it very bizarre behavior. And I think what's even more bizarre, I mean, he's obviously like a business guy. Maybe he's coming for a meeting and he's trying to chill out or something. Um, but there's a baby seat in the back. There's no baby in it, fortunately. He's, he's alone, but um, yeah. I just thought I'd share that. Comment below, what do you guys think of that? I mean, you know. It could be a number of things. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions, but I just wanted to uh, verbalize what I, I just witnessed because I thought it was noteworthy. But So I thought that was really bizarre. Um, but anyways, I um, am running out for right quick uh, because look how beautiful it is. Can you guys appreciate it? I'm wearing my uh, Adidas hoodie from my uh, 
Avenue A subscription box. And um, all right, so contact lens update. I panicked and I can't be without my contact lenses. Like this whole morning working and dealing with my glasses on my face put me into a uh, put me into a state of restlessness. So I called up. Uh, um, my handy dandy optometrist in, in a panic and they are just so kind there that uh, they said oh don't worry come on in we got an extra pair that that you can will get you through so um, yesterday I wore one of those uh, disposable pairs that they gave me those dailies and um, I wore it I don't know probably about seven hours I wore them seven hours and uh, I put them in my contact lens case with a little solution and I just slipped them in. They feel fine. I'm seeing just great, but I'm sure that is like breaking one of the Ten Commandments of uh, ocular health. Um, so hopefully they don't detect it. I'll remedy it as soon as I get home. Totally, uh, temp <clears throat> I'm totally tempted to swing into Costco and get another pair of those Carol Hawkman PJs. You guys have got to get a pair. They are so comfortable. I swear I get far better REM sleep with Carol than I ever did in any other pair of pajamas. Well, guys, crisis averted. I got my contact lenses, and <laughs> he did, in fact, detect that I uh, was... Uh, sneaky sneaky on my dailies and he said are you wearing an old pair I was like how does he know and he insisted that I change out to the new lenses right away hey guys so I just got back from operation rescue eyeball um, so we're all good there and uh, fun fact um, on the way back I swung into uh, my Kroger because I was fiending for some beet chippage and you guys they got them back in, my other, they got them back in, and I kind of went berserk. And I bought all four bags that they got in, so <laughs> I'm so greedy when it comes to my uh, desiccated beets. But. So, like I said, I'm going out of town tomorrow, so I'm just, uh, and I'm about to pack up my stuff uh, to take with me. I'm going to leave directly from work tomorrow to go on this trip, and I will take you guys along with me. But I'm just packing up my stuff um, here to go out of town tomorrow. I'm going to leave directly from work, so I want everything, like, teed up and ready to go. Um, but uh, you know from my Disney vlogs that I love, love, love my Remova, Remoa uh, suitcase. Um, but I'm going to give out my... Um, I'm gonna try my new, this is my uh, Stella McCartney gym bag that I got in my Adidas Avenue A subscription box along with the um, red hoodie that I had on earlier. Um, I, and so I'm gonna give it a whirl, but I basically have it packed with my clothing already. Um, you guys know I love these Eagle Creek packing cubes. I have this one with like socks and under, socks and drawers <laughs> um, in it. And so, yeah. Um, and then I'll be able to put my running shoes in the bottom. I will, of course, take the tag off. It came with a strap, but I don't need all that level of sophistication. And the other thing that I like about it is it's got like deep pockets. I don't know if you can see. Deep pockets there for my water bottle, um, which will inevitably be empty by the end of the workday. And um, it also has a, and the other thing that's good is it's got a cushion space there for my laptop, so. So the film edit upload trifecta will not uh, be dampered. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys, so I'm getting together my, um, I want to show you what skincare products that I'm going to be taking with me. For, this is just for a few days, um, and so, of course, I have... Um, dental floss and toothpaste and because I'm driving there I will inevitably stop for gas so I'll just buy a toothbrush and like a gas station because I don't have any um, I don't like carrying a, a used toothbrush with me it just seems nasty um, and so this is the moisturizer that I bring with me for my face for my nighttime face care this is a CeraVe PM facial moisturizer that I love it's got ceramides in it this will not you know generally does not uh, clog pores and um, I just really like it a lot and this has a little bit of the hyaluronic acid in it um, and then as far as sunscreen I'm just gonna stick with my uh, good old zinc titanium dioxide ceramide containing CeraVe sunscreen um, I have a, enough left for a few days here for just the face 
Um, but this trip, I'm going to give this a whirl. You guys, I know we're asking about it. This is what, I featured this in my skincare haul. This is the Elta MD UV Lip Balm, broad spectrum SPF 31, water resistant up to 81 minutes. It has zinc um, in it. It has zinc oxide in it as well as a chemical component, octinonate. So I'm a little apprehensive that the octinonate may be irritating to me. So we will try. We will try. Um, and then look at my sweet little uh, baby Vaseline here. I'm going to take... Uh, to uh, grease the orifices because um, you all know um, I've been using the Retrin AL now for what, like two nights? Um, but I don't want to take that big two with me, so I'm going to try. So I'm going to try this Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. I have a big size thing of it, but they also gave me this little baby sample. So I'm going for two nights and I will use this at nighttime. Um, and this is the, my travel benzoyl peroxide. It's the uh, La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo. It has benzoyl peroxide 5.5%. Um, so a little bit, a few departures from my skincare routine. I will not be taking my, my biggie jar of Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost, um, but it's quite dry where I'm going. So I'm gonna take, I got this um, at the meeting, this Aven Thermal Water Spray for whatever it's worth. So I'll try that. This is the moisturizer I like to use on my body. It's the Eucerin Eczema Relief. Um, I have this nice travel size tube that I'm gonna be taking with me. And then you guys know I always bemoan how I get those fashion catalogs anonymously sent to me as if um, I'm not good enough for the world. But one um, thing that's nice about them is if you flip through them, A, they've generally got a lot of coupons in them, and B, they have uh, samples. So I've used this Garnier Whole Blunts. I've never used this Moroccan Aragon Camilla oil thing. Um, but I'm going to take that with me just in case the shampoo at the Airbnb I'm staying at is like not something I want to use. Um, so I'll take that. And of course I've got a little bit of uh, loratadine, which is Claritin. And then I just, everything fits nicely in this little zipper doodle thing that I think I got, I don't know, maybe at a dollar store or something. Like, honestly, um, I can't remember. But that is where I'm at. I am going to uh, get ready to go to the gym now. And I will check in with you guys when I get back. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, um, I'm not going to be doing the Retrin AL. AL. Um, the next few days, I'm going to try the Neutrogena version, if you will. I'm going to try the Neutrogena version, if you will. But I did come in with this tonight in combination with my... Um, in combination with my uh, benzoyl peroxide 2.5% in the Neutrogena uh, leave-on mask. Um, one note about um, these things that somebody somebody asked me, um, I guess in watching my um, tips for different, why you should not apply these things to wet skin. Water is actually an irritant um, because what happens is when water sits on the skin, um, and it, when water sits on the skin, it starts to evaporate. And as it evaporates, it draws out more water from your skin. Again. That's really the premise um, of putting putting the moisturizer on to kind of seal that and, and keep it in the skin. So, this, so putting this on wet skin, the skin's losing water. You're getting transepidermal water loss with that water evaporating, and you know um, you're you're essentially putting this on a parched parched barrier at that point. It's really a setup for quite a bit of irritation. I like the dispenser because it puts out puts out a little bit more than a pea, obviously because they want you to use it, but it puts out just the right amount that you need to treat the face. So, so I like that. That's where I'm at. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.